Hello, I'm Kate from Vcons. We have a Instagram page where we share kind of vegan food, vegan recipes, vegan restaurants, animal rights information, human rights information. I'm here to talk to you today about my experience, I guess. So three of us run the page, um, I'm Kate and then there's Linda and Evelyn as well. I guess I'll kind of answer for all of us because we're very much linked. We were best friends when we were really small. We all bonded over our love of animals. We had been vegetarian since we were allowed to really. So we just loved animals, we hated any harm coming to them. When we were vegetarian we all kind of knew there was problems with the dairy industry and the egg industry and you're kind of going okay I know these things are wrong how can I kind of take an extra step we just kind of all knew that going vegan was the right thing to do I went vegan in 2015 it was kind of when people were taking climate change a little bit more seriously maybe and there was just no denying that other animal industries were you know harmful to animals and harmful to the environment There's loads of positives. Before I went vegan, I did harbor a good bit of guilt about eating dairy or eating eggs because I knew those industries were harmful to animals. But I think after I went vegan, I felt a kind of much more sense of calm. I didn't feel guilty about anything to do with my diet. I had much more energy. I was actively eating more vegetables in which I probably wasn't before. You're kind of learning a lot of new recipes. You're eating a lot more vegetables and fruit, I'd say. When you go vegan, you have to start reading the ingredients on everything because you need to make sure there's no milk or eggs or anything in it so in those ways it makes you really conscious of your diet and I know there's people who eat meat who are conscious of what they eat as well but I think it, for me it was that was one of the positives and you know you're making a difference to the planet and you're making life better for lots of animals I mean there's no denying that um is gonna make you feel good and be a positive I won't get into the stats but like there's a lot of evidence that a vegan diet kind of has a marked impact on your carbon footprint and like I mean we're at a stage in where the world is kind of at a turning point and if we don't make a change there's no going back go vegan it's like the best thing you can do there's kind of very superficial negatives I suppose in that like if you go to a family dinner or a dinner with a lot of friends who aren't vegan it can be awkward it can be embarrassing to have to ask for a vegan option when it's like a very meaty restaurant or a fish restaurant you'll get the jokes you'll get people asking you a lot about it people kind of questioning it people getting annoyed that you're vegan even though you haven't kind of confronted them at all which are all kind of not very nice to deal with but I mean they're all kind of superficial things I don't think there's anything massively negative about it at all even since I went vegan in 2015 there has been so many more options made available to vegans you'll find a way to replace what you're missing it just takes a little bit of homework think okay what am I really gonna miss What's my normal diet like? How can I kind of replicate that? If you're not a great cook, maybe do a little bit of learning about recipes and that kind of stuff before you start being vegan because it just is helpful to be able to know what to replace stuff with or what's in certain things so that you can kind of know uh, basic nutrition and make sure you're not missing out on anything. You know, it just takes, like anything, a little bit of getting used to to change a habit, a diet. Just make sure you're doing it healthily and you're taking care of yourself and you're not putting too much pressure on yourself. A vegan world would be a happier world, I think. Mm -hmm.